after a week of these injuries getting worse, not better, I ultimately went to the hospital and got no care. And not even a real diagnosis. Because they poked and prodded it at my nose harder than any of the other bruises and still couldn't tell if it was broken or not. I'm at the hospital in the cafeteria where apparently they sell Starbucks coffee and they made me get a visitor pass to eat food at the cafeteria before going to the emergency room. I'm going to the emergency room to have my numerous bruises checked. Bruises I got when I fell in the dark when the power was turned off about a week ago. I am now actually waiting to be seen by a doctor. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually break my nose, but I bruised my knee, my chest, my groin, my ankle, my wrist, and the upper part of my leg. When I fell, I'm gonna show you my knee, which is the knee I broke a few years ago that they told me never to injure again. Prepare to be horrified. There's my bruised wrist. The doctors are also going to check my lungs because I still feel very congested and have still not recovered from the cold I got the first time that the power was out. They now have me in this room, which is like a storage room or an office space. And I am still waiting to be seen by a doctor. Sterile supplies must be kept free of splashing and must be 12 inches from the sink, which is why they're like right next to the sink, right? At least the hospital is prepared for a potential Ebola outbreak. <laughs> it is 3.54 p.m. and I am now sitting in my car in the hospital parking lot. When I took off my clothes for the doctor to examine me, I noticed that I had bruises in other parts of my body that I didn't even know I had. There were like three bruises on my other leg, not the leg I showed you. There was a cut on my ankle I didn't know about. Basically, my legs are completely covered in bruises. My ankles are both bruised. Both of my arms are bruised. There's a bruise on my chest. There's a bruise on my back. And the absolute most painful one is a bruise basically in my groin, kind of like to the right of my vagina, but not quite on my leg. It's like right in the area between my crotch and my leg. Anyway, after the doctors put on gloves and poked and prodded my entire body, they told me that I might have broken my nose, but if I did break it, there's nothing they can do anyway, so they're not even going to bother to x-ray it. They're just going to tell me that it might be broken. If I wanted to get it x-rayed, they would have x-rayed it. But I declined to have it x-rayed because they said that there wouldn't really be anything they could do. It would just be like confirming whether it was actually broken or just injured. And she felt my nose, which was very painful. And as she felt it like this, she said, well... If it is broken, it probably isn't broken in a way where it needs to be set. It's probably just fractured, so we're just going to leave your nose alone. My only complaint about this hospital is that there was another lady who fell, and she fell while she was drunk, and they x-rayed her in numerous areas of her body, which were not nearly as bruised as mine, and then they gave her a prescription for Flexerol, which is... A medicine I can't take because I have a very bad reaction to it. However, that lady was in the same room as me for a very long time. She was less beaten up and given much more medical care and treated much more seriously than I was. They did not x-ray me anywhere. And they x-rayed like her arm and her neck. They did not offer me any kind of pain medication which I wouldn't have taken anyway, but they didn't offer it to me, and I was, like, way more bruised than her. And 
I think it's because of my dreadlocks. Here's my dreadlocks that I got treated like completely differently than another patient with similar but probably less severe injuries than me. So that is my complaint. That and they told me that my nose might be broken, but then when I looked at the paperwork they gave me when I was discharged, it did not say that there was a possibility something was broken. So I guess I have no evidence that my nose might be broken because they didn't write it down. So that upsets me as well. And they also checked my lungs to make sure I don't have pneumonia and told me I don't have pneumonia. And last but not least, they felt the swollen lymph node in my neck that's been there for many, many years that I talked about in a previous video and said they weren't concerned about it either and that I should just watch it. So <laughs> that was the medical care I got at St. Joseph Hospital in Eureka, California. I am now about to leave St. Joseph Hospital and go buy something at Walmart before I go home. I am leaving Walmart with a video game for Eugene that my boyfriend gave me the money to buy him. And I wanted to bring something for Evelyn too, so I bought this doll. I also have cat food and cat litter in the back seat. But that is not the kind of litter my cats use. I'm going to put that litter under the rugs that the cat's litter boxes are on because when they pee over the edge of the litter boxes, it soaks into the rugs to help absorb the pee from underneath and keep the rugs dry. <laughs> At Sushi Town in Arcata, California. And here is the sushi that I ordered one minute ago. This place brings you your food so fast that you feel like they are rushing you. Seriously. Before I leave this restaurant, I'm going to show you their bathroom with the really cool ceramic bowl sink. And extra toilet paper. Lots of it. Hi. I'm home. Wow, that took forever. Yeah, it did. What's that? That's the video game that you gave me the money to buy for Eugene. A doll I bought for Evelyn so she'd have a toy too. Oh, thank you. And some sushi that's like falling apart. Like oh, the no. box is like falling apart. The bottom was falling out from under and they tied it on the top. But when I tried to pick it up, it like went sideways. That's why I was like grasping onto it for dear life. Well, we they didn't give me any soy sauce. I forgot to ask for the gluten-free soy sauce. So they didn't give me any soy sauce and we need to get soy sauce from the fridge. Okay. Look what my boyfriend did while I was gone all day at the hospital. He made two of these. These are from the trunk of my Japanese maple tree that was destroying my house. That we had to cut down. That is beautiful grain. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And what tool did you use to cut that? $40 Craigslist chainsaw. A $40 <laughs> Craigslist chainsaw. Congratulations. It looks really good and will make a really nice like table or something in the future. Maybe we could make a bench similarly sized to this piano bench. But with that, Blue Dream is in here, as you can see, and cats are in the window, wanting to join her. Are you kids ready to see your new toys? Yeah, 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 yeah! All right. Are you kids ready for your surprise? Yeah! Don't break the bed. All right, Evelyn first. No! It's a toy. Evelyn did? Yes. Oh, that's probably my toy. Well, you can play with it too when she's done. Here you go, Evelyn. Press up me now. Oh, you that's go, your Evelyn. new doll. First up me now. One of my... Oh. 
Look at how we did it. What is that? All right. Are you ready for your surprise? Yeah. Here it is. Luigi Mansion 2! Open it, open it! It's Luigi's Mansion 3, but Luigi. yeah. Luigi Mansion 3! I'm dirty. Hold on, hold on, see. What? It's loading again! It's loading again. Yes. We should sip this time. Why sip it? I don't know. Don't skip it. Watch it. It's the intro. I sip this. You know what? Me I like it. It's so... I like it, my new game! Thank you for getting her baby doll. You're welcome. Yay! I wanted both Go! of them to get something new at the same time. I know what this part is. Oh, doggy! It's a ghost doggy with a note. Professor Creative will bring that sub into a painting. That's something to a painting, right? Oh. Yeah, you know. It's a duty. Okay, don't. No, what? I don't want to check in Mario. I don't think I want to I will check on Mario. Okay, I already know how to do this fragrance, but I don't want to go jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's enough room on my phone to record this long intro. My phone is also about to die. The battery is about to die. Hurry up! So this video may abruptly end at any time before I'm finished recording the intro to this video game. She's about to pull down his Nintendo controllers. It's Mario. Yeah. Oh look, it's Mario. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, I found Mario. Hurry up! Mm. Oh yeah, I love this one. Oh. It's nice. <laughs> it's why I want to be scary, but it's nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, where'd that go already? Go, 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 Let's go. What's that sound? Are you bad? bored with the intro and just want to play the game? How do I run? You don't do anything yet. This is just the intro. What'd you do with your baby doll? She threw it under the table, I think. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Welcome, guests, to the last resort. Okay, this one takes forever. You know what that run? Yes, welcome to the last resort. Now I can run. Oh, I see My name ghosts. is Helen Gravely. I can't read what the captions say because Eugene's pressing the button that makes them go away. You must all be very tired. Come allow me to show you to your rooms. So no need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. He's going to get frostwide. You are VIPs after all. A flashlight.
Okay. Okay, you stop recording. Look at this. And I want to. I think I want to. So, is this where the game officially starts? Huh? What? No. Nope. Huh? It's still the huh? intro. Uh -oh. I'm surprised my phone. Hasn't died or run out of room yet. Oh, you did that for oh, I yeah. man. You He's are actually crazy. playing the game now. Okay, you the it's here. It's not the long intro anymore. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, this is so Thank you. Thank you. The eye of me, but you are very serious. But hey, goblin. <laughs> yeah. What is that? It's a paint. I saw one for a Mario Silk and a painting. I played Luigi's Mansion, the original on the GameCube, but I have never played Luigi's Mansion 2. Well, I never even I saw of Luigi's Mansion until oh, today no, no, when no, you no, told no, me to no, go no, buy it. Toilet paper, burn, it goes here and there. cleaning cart. <laughs> it's like it's a hotel. We're in 505. It must be on the fifth floor. Yeah, check out the elevator. Can you go down a level? Check it out. What happened? What if you open the door? I can't. Oh, Creepy shit. music and stuff. Okay. That Luigi chicken? looks so scared. Oh, like, oh, he's so, like, We're within prison clutch. Mario's the tough guy. Why, why couldn't he go into the mansion? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, people, I'm gonna stop recording. Wait, right what's now. outside? Outside the window, there's some crows. Anything out there? What's out there? I don't go out there. Well, this is one of those games where you have to explore. You have to explore everything. That's, that's what's great about this game. Before I end this video, I want to tell you the hilarious way that the doctors at the hospital told me to treat the bruise that's like right here in my groin. It's like right there, basically, where it hurts to sit, stand, walk, pee, poop, anything. They told me to soak a menstrual pad in water, freeze it in the freezer, and stick it in my underwear as like an improvised ice pack. <laughs> okay, people, don't worry. I'm not gonna do that.
I just had to say it because it is just so absurd. They were giving the lady who was in the room with me a prescription for Flexerol, which they told her to take three times a day. They also told her to come back and get x-rayed again if it still hurt. They didn't x-ray me at all. They didn't offer me any prescriptions. They told me to freeze a menstrual pad, a soaking wet menstrual pad, and put it in my underwear. That's what they told me to do to treat one of my many injuries. Oh, and I also wanted to show you my leg. When I took off my pants, I didn't even realize that I had these bruises on my leg. <laughs> the doctor said something like, wow, you got really bashed up when you fell, didn't you? My bruises were like definitely, definitely worse and definitely covering much more of my body than the lady who had fallen and had like the bruise on her arm and the bruise on her neck. And that's how they treated me. Which is why I almost didn't go to the hospital. If it was just my nose, I would not have gone. But when the bruise in my groin started hurting more and more and the bruise in my knee there it is again, <laughs> started hurting more and more. I was worried both because when I broke my knee, they told me it could be very dangerous if I ever injured it again. And I was worried that the bruise in my groin could actually be like a fracture in my pelvis or something that could swell up and interfere with things like being able to go to the bathroom. So after a week of these injuries getting worse, not better, I ultimately went to the hospital and got no care. And not even a real diagnosis. Because they poked and prodded at my nose harder than any of the other bruises and still couldn't tell if it was broken or not. So that's what happened. I got injured. I got some kind of documentation that I tried to get medical care for it and they basically offered me no treatment whatsoever. With that said, I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to you know, update my viewers because in my last video I was like seeming really sick and talking about how I thought my nose was broken and I will upload the rest of the videos that I filmed during the power outage after I upload this update just to let you people know that I'm okay. Okay, so with that said, I'm ending this video now. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and donate money to me on Patreon and other sites.